What's going on? It's Saturday and it's raining. <laughs> Guys, it is pouring rain two days in a row, nonstop, as they predicted, right? So nothing to do, but a couple of things I want to talk about, show you, and just uh, show you a few things and just talk about a few things and really just haven't done anything. I uh, did a few errands today, you know, the bank and things like that. Just your things that normally you would do, I guess, on a rainy day. But other than that, there's no work. Tomorrow is Sunday, we're off. And then, of course, hopefully by next, by Monday next week, things will um, look better and we'll have a good week. So, all right. So a couple of things, ninjas. I hope you guys have had a great week. And then obviously the weekend's already started, so to say. But what I want to talk about is about Tiny, first and foremost, and then we'll get to a couple of other things. So, I had a loyal ninja reach out to me and give me a few updates on Tiny to what to look out for because he was a uh, mechanic. <clears throat> and he asked me, he said, Wait, Nick! <laughs> You knew that was coming, didn't you? He said he was a uh, a dealer tech before he became a landscaper. Here's exactly what he uh, wrote me. He said, "If you, uh, in a nutshell, the pump is prone to a premature failure. I have experienced this with our medics. Still currently a fleet mechanic at the and the pump will suddenly start to leak a massive amount of antifreeze. So I guess we're talking about yeah the water pump. Um." sitting and cooling down so he's basically saying that the issue that ford has been having is it's fine while it's hot and running but the whole cooling down and you know every time you know every time it seems to cool down uh, there's a high chance of leaking <clears throat> so what i did is i looked at it and if it was on six one or before and if you look if i can zoom it in mine's on i don't know if you guys can see that Mine's on January 1st when the truck was actually built of 2017. So yes, I am in that category or that date. So any, anything after 6-1, apparently they changed it and fixed it. But they haven't recalled anything because if they've recalled, I would have gotten a letter in the mail. And so, you know, I, anyway, I, I unlocked it to take a look at that date and I wanted to make a video. I, I thought this was a really good topic to talk about including some of the other ones that we're going to discuss here in a minute but i wanted to give you guys a heads up on it if you guys do have this same truck or at least same engine uh, that's affected so anything on six one or before of last year okay 2017 really keep an eye on it and basically it's on the driver's side at the bottom he said you'll see a huge puddle uh, if it ever occurs he said that a lot of trucks at the time when he was there were um, usually happening around 30,000 miles, give or take, you know. And so he wanted to warn me. That's another one of the really, really cool reasons and, and, and why I am doing this whole YouTube thing because uh, connecting with you guys and giving each other tips and ideas and you guys are learning from me and look, I'm learning from you and this is awesome. This is definitely one of the huge benefits of it. So. Anyway, I wanted to just quickly uh, share that with you. So if you have this truck, 2017, and if it's made on 6.1 or before, keep an eye out for it. Maybe some of you have already had an issue with it. Now, obviously, this truck is still under warranty. So if that's the case with me, uh, then, you know, it'll be warrantied. The truck is warrantied up to 100,000 miles on the engine itself and also bumper to bumper which I purchased additionally. Uh, the factory for these trucks is uh, three year, 36,000 bumper to bumper and five year, 60,000, uh, I guess on the transmission, but, and then uh, if it's a gas burner, then it's five year, 60,000 on the powertrain and, and the transmission. But I upgraded the purchase to a uh, 100,000 miles bumper to bumper. And then of course it comes with the 100,000 miles just on the engine itself for the diesels. So. 
Uh, I wanted to share that with you. I'm definitely going to keep an eye on it. So far, no issues. I'm hoping I'm one of those people that don't have an issue with that, but it could occur as um, it seems like that's what's been happening to a lot of you. So there you go. I just want dirty. I wanted to share that with you and give you a, a heads up on it, just like a loyal ninja did to me. And I really appreciate that. So another thing I wanted to ask you is I'm getting ready to clean this truck. It's filthy, dirty, just running it constantly all freaking summer long. Okay. So I obviously can do this myself, but I can't really fully detail it. I don't have all the tools and I really, quite frankly, don't even have the patience to do like a full cleanup, take a toothpick and clean every little thing. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I, I don't. I don't have the patience for that. So, I guess the question that I'm having, that I want to ask you, ninjas, is what? I guess also it depends the area. But how much do you think a full detail? I'm talking full freaking detail. Like I want it to sparkle <laughs> and look like brand new from the day that I bought it. Now I'm going to empty a lot of it, of course, and I've got a lot of stuff I got to take out and, you know, crap and junk and all that. But I want to really take it to a place where, you know, they will literally clean it from uh, head to toe. <laughs> I got a lot of uh, stuff that I need to <clears throat> take out, but the Husqvarna power trimmers, I keep those on me at all time. We love these things. Here's that gun um, greaser, the uh, battery that I don't even really use anymore. Anyway, so let me know on that. I'm wanting to say I'm probably guessing it's going to be, what, 150 bucks maybe to fully detail it. I don't know. I've never actually gotten a quote to a full detail completely to make it look like brand new. Also, another thing I'm gonna do this year, after it gets detailed and cleaned, I will go ahead and get, um, it's starting to rain again, guys, get a seat covers. I was gonna do that and I ran out of time, really. The season was in full effect and I didn't really get a chance to so that's something, once I clean it, I will definitely get some seat covers going on um, for this upcoming season. I did make a decision on the 2014. I believe I'm gonna go ahead and just sell that truck. I read a lot of your comments. Sorry. I hope, by the way, the camera and the footage is a lot better because this is the new uh, GoPro 7. So let me know if uh, the quality of the video is better. I think I'm gonna go ahead and sell it, guys. I'm gonna actually clean it up some more. It's actually a pretty clean truck, but I gotta get a lot of stuff out of it in the back, out of the bed, and clean it up, detail it. It's got it's got gr brand new tires and brakes. It's a, it's a really good truck, and I think I just wanna sell it instead of let it just sit there while it still has a decent amount of value to it, and let someone, you you know, use it who really needs it. <clears throat> and I'll just keep the money and then maybe buy something down the road or uh, whatever it is, it'll be a four door because I'd like to have two four doors instead of uh, a regular cab. I just don't have use for a regular cab anymore. Did not get a chance to call my local dealership for the mowers yet. And I haven't even done the old changes. Uh, I'll probably do that tomorrow. I want to call them and ask them, especially on the 61, just if it's uh, what, you know, a tune-up will cost. Uh, if the valves need to be adjusted, let them look at it and then just fix that throttle cable. That's about it. And then ask them about that, um, that when you turn it on, that noise. But tomorrow when I'm doing the old change, I'm definitely going to go ahead. I don't think I can do the old change. I don't have the filter for that thing, but I'll definitely do the old change on the 52. But when I do do the old change, do do the old old change. I'm gonna check out the battery and see, make sure the connections are good. Um, if the connections, you know, have any issues or not, but here it is. So I do keep these bad boys in the garage. A lot of you have asked, <clears throat> a 
especially during the winter. In the summer, sometimes I just don't have time. And they're super dirty. I'm going to have to like really waiting for a nice dry day, but really going to clean them and uh, detail them and, you know, get the old changes and get cl get clean, get the old changes, fix what needs to be fixed, whether it's through the dealer or if it's something I can tweak and fix, I'll, I'll look into that. And then uh, get them ready really for next year. <clears throat> Even though I will continue to use them this year, whether we still mulch some leaves and whatnot. But anyway, uh, but yeah, I made that decision. I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna really sell it. I, I'm not really sure if right now is a good timing to maybe upload it, put it up online. Or if I should wait maybe around tax season. Let me know what you think on that. I'm not sure. But I, I pretty sure I say about maybe 80% that I'm going to go ahead and sell it. I hope you guys are having a good weekend. Maybe some of you are being more productive than we are here. But there is nothing you can do. And it's like the type of rain where it just comes and goes nonstop. So it is what it is. Challenges, challenges, man. You are always going to have challenges in your life and in your business, whether it's with equipment, truck, mowers, whether it's with the weather, the type of business that the, we, we are in. Weather is a big factor, I think, for everybody, no matter where you are. And, you know, it's just uh, challenges are going to be there. But I mentioned this before, it's how you handle it that defines you and your business as a business owner and as a person individual or how you uh don't so that's what makes you or breaks you so things will happen you know you're gonna have some setbacks whether it's equipment truck mowers whether it's customers <laughs> whether it's um whatever right but it, it, it you have to go look past it run through it look past it and go you know look at the future and where you really focus on that where you're going and that's that's usually what's gonna get you uh ahead okay also real quick got a trip lined up uh, it's already been booked it is a ninja gathering trip okay so a lot of you who are on instagram at saving green Lanke, you already know about this because i did post it up last night but um basically what it is is a couple of guys came together they really enjoy the videos the content and the message and i really appreciate <laughs> i appreciate all of you watching but i appreciate to those who really see um my message and what i am trying to do in this community and trying to do in my own life uh certain things in certain ways that i walk the walk and you know, all I can do is share with you guys and, uh, you know, not everybody is going to agree with everything, but that's okay. That's part, that's the beauty of it. We're all different and we all see things differently and there's nothing wrong with that. Okay. But they saw that, you know, they understand what I'm saying here. They see the things that I view, how I view them. And they came together and are literally surprised me with an invitation, booked everything, um, to fully pay all the expenses, really treat me and go up there, spend time with them, take, you know, just hang out, talk, educate each other, help each other out. Just really a ninja gathering, you know? Why? <laughs> and it's gonna come, it's gonna come, uh, uh, it's gonna happen and it's coming up soon. I'm not gonna give any dates just yet because uh, as we get closer, I will announce it. So stay tuned on that. But it's gonna happen in Dallas, Texas. That's right, ninjas. Dallas, Texas. They're going to freaking fly me out there. Mama Ninja, Baby Ninja. We're going to have a blast. It's going to be fun. I'm looking forward to meeting any of you who are there or around that area. I'll definitely, as we get closer, give you the uh, location, the timing, and all that good stuff. And hey, guess who's it, you know, who's it, who's it sponsored by? <laughs> the ninjas. That's what's so beautiful. The ninjas. When you got a group of people come together, man, it's a beautiful thing. And we're, you know, things are going to be awesome and things are going to be, um, I think I want to do this like, I don't know if I could do it so much during the summer, we're all busy, but maybe every fall and winter and things like that, I'm going to try to like tackle different cities and really put a gathering together and uh, really just get to know you guys in person and 
I don't know, just connect and share my story. There's a lot more to my story than I uh, sometimes talk on YouTube as well because, well, for one, otherwise my videos would be an hour long. And two, really, I try to focus when I'm out and about, you know, when we're out there mowing and stuff, I really just want to either uh, share what we're doing or sometimes I just talk about what's on my mind at the moment, you know, whatever it is that we're doing for that day. So, but there's a lot more to it. And, you know, I'm so honored and thankful to the ninjas who have made this happen and, and, and are supporting this. And I'm looking forward to it. I really am. So I want to give you a heads up on that. Give you a heads up on the 2014. Give you a heads up for sure on the diesel 6.7 liters 2017s and stay tuned on the mowers of course so guys take care and enjoy your weekend granny's couch it is <laughs> we'll see you later